Your content marketing strategy can be the difference between a successful business and one that struggles to get by. Content marketing is one of the most effective strategies you can use, but it takes a lot of effort to do as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own content marketing strategy that has the potential for you to achieve six figures in annual revenue. So let's not waste any time and just jump right into my computer so I can show you how. The five essential steps that you need to follow if you want to create a content marketing strategy that works for your business. I call it the FIGPA formula, which is an acronym that stands for figure out, identify, create, promote, and analyze. Number one, you need to figure out who your target audience is. Number two, you need to identify your key messages. Number three, you need to create valuable content that resonates with your target audience. Number four, you need to promote your content effectively. And number five, you need to analyze and adjust as needed. Now let's take a look at each of these steps in more detail. The first step is to figure out who you are targeting with your content marketing strategy. Now this may seem like a difficult task, but it's actually not that hard to do if you take the time to actually think about it. You need to start off by creating a buyer persona. Now this is a fictional presentation of your ideal tribe member. So your ideal customer, your ideal team member, your ideal coaching client, or whoever it is. You need to create this buyer persona. And the gurus, you know, there's a lot of gurus out there that they teach, you know, to know your target audience's age, how much money they make, if they have kids, if they're married and all these different things. And honestly, I could care less about any of that stuff. What I want to know is what are they struggling with? What keeps them up at night? And what are they passionate about? Once you have a good understanding of your target market or your target audience, or your perfect tribe member, you can start creating content that speaks to their needs and interests and solves their biggest problems. The next one is to identify your key message. Now you need to be clear on what you want to communicate to your target audience, and you need to make sure that all of your content aligns with these messages. So ask yourself, what do you want your customers to know about your business? How can you help them get results? and what do you specialize in? You need to be very, very clear on what you want to communicate to your target audience and make sure that all of your content aligns with these messages. When you know this, you'll be able to create an Instagram bio that converts, a YouTube banner that represents who you are and what you do, even a LinkedIn profile that attracts the right tribe members to you. Let me know in the comments if you already have your key message figured out already so I can learn more about what it is that you do. The next step is to create valuable content. Once you know who you're targeting and what you want to say, it's time to start creating valuable content that resonates with them. Now, this is probably the most important part of your content marketing strategy, because if you don't create content that resonates with your audience, they won't bother consuming your content. So it's very important that you get this right. The best way to do this is to think about what they want to know, not what you want to say. Start by identifying the biggest problems that your target market is facing and create content that solves their problem. You can also create content that is helpful, inspiring, and entertaining, as long as it provides a ton of value and resonates with your target market. The next step is to promote your content. Once you have created valuable content that resonates with your target audience or your target market or your perfect tribe member, it's time to start promoting it. And this is where a lot of entrepreneurs go wrong and give up because they don't know how to promote their content effectively. There's a number of different ways that you can go about promoting your content. And the best way is to figure out what works best for you and the way to do that is to experiment a little bit. So some common methods of promoting your valuable piece of content includes sending an email to your list and posting on social media and paying for paid ads like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, doing video marketing and many other marketing methods. 
The possibilities are literally endless, but the key is to figure out what works best for you. So for example, not everyone wants to do talking head videos, but maybe you could do a screen share video or slide share videos like this one that you're watching right now. And it all depends on what platforms you want to use, how much time you have to devote to creating content on these platforms, or if you're going to hire a social media manager to help you with your business. And you also need to plan your promotion schedule. When exactly are you going to promote your content? So for example, I promote my weekly YouTube video, which is my main platform that I use to grow my business and generate leads and sales on autopilot. And my weekly value-based content that I launch each and every week, every single Thursday. So you need to figure out what platform is right for you, what format of content is right for you, whether it's talking head video or screen share like this. And then you need to commit to a schedule on when you're going to start actually promoting that. For me, like I said, it's every Thursday. After that, I basically make sure that I get it out to my Instagram and Facebook stories. I create an Instagram and Facebook video post, I post it on my Facebook group, send it to my email list and so on. So I get into not only creating a weekly value-based piece of content, like my YouTube videos, like the one that you're watching now, but I also take this video and I promote it throughout the whole entire week to different social media platforms so that I can start generating leads and sales on autopilot. These are all the things that you have to look at when it comes to creating your own social media strategy, because it's not a one size fits all. I'll be diving deeper into my social media marketing promotion plan inside of my behind the automation Academy so that you can get access to that. And I'll leave the link right below in the show notes. The final step is to analyze and adjust. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you need to be prepared to make changes to your content marketing strategy as needed. This means analyzing the results of your campaigns, your social media posts, your videos and all the things and adjusting your content accordingly. So if you find that a particular type of content is resonating with your audience, then you should create more of that type of content. On the other hand, if you find that your audience isn't interested in a particular topic, then you should stop creating content about that topic. The key is to be flexible and adaptable so that you can continue delivering valuable content to your audience and grow as a digital marketer. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to sell your products on Instagram stories, which is a strategy that is working really, really well inside of my business right now. So if you want more videos like this one, that's all about building your digital marketing business, then make sure that you check these videos right here and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. So you don't miss every time I upload a brand new episode. I'll see you on the next one.